Hi everyone, Farmer Jolly here and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 2 of my Let's Play on Court Farms. The goal of today's episode is to get the yard built and also to get the two contracts completed. So, let's crack on and get this yard built. I do have some mods installed, such as the modular shed pack, but I think it's going to be a little bit of trial and error until we find out what's best to put in this yard. While we're building the yard, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched episode 1. If you have any ideas for what I could include or incorporate into the Let's Play, please feel free to just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Um, that's any mods that you'd like me to potentially install or any ideas for what we can look at doing next uh, like I say feel free to let me know in the comments I've not played with the modular shed pack before um, obviously I've, as you can tell I've got it installed um, but I've never never really built my own yards this is sort of a first time for me building my own yard um, I'll see if we can get this anywhere that I think would look look good. Um, the problem putting it here is it's going to be blocking a gate. Um, uh, what about what about putting it over in this corner? That might work. Mm, I'm not convinced. Uh, see if there's anything else that I think would fit fit a little bit better. Um, I think maybe in that corner though, this that might work. Um, what about this one? Hmm. Yeah, that that doesn't look too bad there. So there's enough space. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. So one, I think think we want one more one more shed. Um, not sure what's going to fit. Um, but I'll have a have a little play around and see what we can do now. I believe this has got a workshop trigger in it. That that would be a nice feature to have in our yard. Uh, whether we can get it to fit anywhere. No, I'll be blocking that gate again there. Uh, if we can get it to fit anywhere, I'm not sure. Mm, ah, we would if we could could have removed that shed. But we can't. Um, that's, that's a little bit too big. Uh, once we find the perfect uh, shed, then that will be brilliant let's just have a quick look through see what we can find um, right mm. no it's a bit too small Ooh, this this might work let's have a quick look yeah it would uh, fit there and we've still got access to everything it's not too crowded yeah we'll go with this Right, let's have a quick look. I um, might need to do a little bit of landscaping, um, but we'll have a quick check. Yeah, it's a decent size. Yeah, there's a little bit of a ridge here. Um, so do a bit of landscaping, maybe a little bit of painting as well. Let's have a quick look, see what we can do. Um, all right, we'll just uh, get the soften tool and run it along the edge. And it is going to charge, charge us for this, um, but I think it makes more sense to have a smoother entrance as opposed to a rough entrance trying to get into the shed um right so let's have a quick look at the painting would be nice to have something like gravel or uh concrete down um like this one let's have a try yeah i just know it's going to charge us but i think it makes would look nicer to have the yard done straight away uh Let's bring that over to here. Um, can remove all the grass. I think we'll just curve it round a bit so we've got a bit more turning space. That looks all right. And we uh, don't need, we're not going to need the grass bit back here. We can use that to park stuff. There we go, right. So I think that's the yard done. Um, let's disconnect the mowers. Head over to the store, collect the tether and windrow, um, and get head over to the fields and get them both to, um, get the get them both tethered. Um, so I'll drop these off and I will um, put the put this bit into a time lapse of heading over to the store 
and then uh, obviously the fields and I will see you once both fields have been tedded. We've just got the um, tether and the windrow. Uh, thought we'd um, take a different route back to the fields and go straight to um, the, field, the fields that we're working in. Um, see more, a bit more of the map uh, when we get there. Oh, actually, uh, I can do that now quickly. Just need to double check that tether and bailet, tether and bailet. Yes, they are both hay bales. Uh, last thing I wanted to do was. Um, turn them both into hay and then find that one was silage uh, that wouldn't be brilliant so uh, we'll jump back into the time lapse and I will uh, catch up with you once we have both fields um, tedded see you in a bit
Right, so as you can see we've got both of the contract fields uh, all tethered and turned into hay. Um, we All that's left to do now is we need to windrow them into nice neat swaths. Um, the window is in the other field, uh, not the one we've just finished, but the uh, first one we tethered. So we will drop the tether back off if we can find a good place to put it, and we will then head over, head back to the other field, um, get collect the windrow, and get both fields put into the neat rows. Then we're going to have to make another trip back to the store and grab... I think we're going to have to make a couple of trips back actually. Obviously as you can see uh, from me trying to put the tether away, it doesn't fit in that shed. So we'll put it here instead. Alright, so now we've got the tether dropped off. Let's head back over to... I think it's in field 63. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's head back over there. Collect the windrow, as I say, and get both of our two. I'm going the complete wrong way. It'd be really useful if we go the right way to the field. I think I can get to it that way, but it's a lot longer. So let's back up all the way back down the track and go the correct way to the fields. I was uh, trying to think that was odd. I thought I'd have uh, seen the contract, the, the field we we're doing the contract in. Uh, now, but obviously I'm not going to see it if I'm going the wrong way. Alright, let's try that again. Here we go. This is the right way. So, let's go back to field 63. Uh, get the windrow. Get field 63 and 70 windrowed into the swaths. Um, we are going to have to say we're going to have to make a couple of trips back to the store because um, we're going to need the baler and the bale trailer but unfortunately I don't think I can do it in one um, we'll, uh, and we've already crashed oh we've crashed again I should say not already we've already crashed uh, going to the fields hopefully we won't crash as much in this episode um, so just getting to the field. Um, I do want to look at investing in a second tractor. Um, so we might do that. I do need to remember to take the front loader back to the store with us um, because I need to get the bale grab. So let's get the windrow unfolded. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Um, doing these fields um, so <clears throat> let's get these fields done uh, yeah, like I was saying I do want to invest in a second tractor I think it would be uh, would be useful um, not sure what tractor yet I know last episode we were looking at the I think it was a 6M in the sale uh, thinking about it I don't think that's the right tractor, just from the point of view it's not got much horsepower and it's still quite expensive. I think we could probably spend a little bit more but have a, a medium tractor um, and then got the option of upgrading it in the future. Uh, it might not be feasible straight away, I'd, I'd love something like a fast track, um, it'd be brilliant to deliver the contracts or get to or from the fields. Uh, might be able to lease one. Um, I'm playing with the lease to own mod, uh, which obviously gives us the chance of buying the um, leased item at some point in the future. That might be the way we end up going. Um, but we'll have a think and see what's out there. But for now, we will get both these fields. Uh, windrowed and then we will 
have a look and head over, have a look at what at the tractors, and head over to the store. Um, so I'll put this into a time lapse of windrow in the fields. I'll catch up with you once uh, once the fields are done, and we'll have a look at the store. So I will see you in a bit. So that is both fields ready to be baled now. Uh, so we'll just run back to the yard and park up the windrow. Um, I have noticed that it's getting through its uh, grease um, relatively quickly. I know we're not using it. Would help if I could open the gate. There we go. Uh, it's getting through relatively quickly. We've got about 56% left. Um, so we will need to get another, or we'll need to get a pallet, I should say. Um, but we might do that when we get a little bit lower on it. Like I say, the window is not being used again straight away. So we might be alright for a little bit. Um, so we'll drop this off, find a good parking space for it. Uh, maybe actually next to the mowers might be quite a, might, might, quite, might be quite a good idea if I can speak properly. 
be very useful. And now I can't reverse. Let's move the cone out of the way. Not that the cone had anything to do with my reversing skills. Uh, but we will need it out of the way. Right, here we go. That's better. So we get this disconnected. I'll have a quick look at the store. The more I think about it, I think the JCB fast track would be a good option for us. Uh, and before I forget, let's grab the front loader because we are going to have to go back to the store. So we might as well run this with us as we are going to need it. Here we go. So, let's have a quick look. Uh, obviously, I don't think I can afford the uh, fast track. Um, but we'll have a look and see. No, we can't afford it. We could lease it, though. Uh, it might be a good idea to put uh, the front loader attachment. And do, uh, can I get narrows? We can. I do need a vehicle with narrow tyres, you see. Um, that's 200 and 16. Have I got any fast tracks as a mod? We've got you. You can go to 235 horsepower. You are 235. Well, unless this lowers the price by. Yeah, I... no, we won't go for that. Ooh. Get 260, but you've got less horsepower. What have we. What horsepower have we got? Yeah, this, this was the track we were thinking of, but it only goes up to 140. Um, and that's, yeah, that, that's new. <laughs> that's a no for now. Um, we've got 185, so we could get away with the small one for now. We haven't got anything leased as well, which is a good sign, a good starting point. Um, so we could go for this one we were looking at. 195. I've still got more, and we can upgrade when we, if if and when we own it. Um, can we put the narrow tires on? We can. Uh, that might be the way to go. We could even. Mm, that's going to be 8,000 for the smallest. We can't put. Oh, no, we won't go for that because we can't put the. Um, we can't actually get the um, front loader on that. We should probably have a quick look as to what front loader we've got. We've got the quickie, that's fine. Uh, I think, actually, we're just going to go for the base model. Um, let's find a narrow tyre that looks not too silly. There we go. So how much is that? It is more, but obviously it's the higher horsepower. Um... I'd love it, but I think we've just been. A, I think we're jumping the gun a little bit. Let's see. What else we've got? Um. Could go for a Kubota. I think the Kubotas only have um, the Kubota front loader though. Yeah, they can only take the, f the, the Kubota front loader. What about the medium ones? There are a couple, I think. Yeah. Is that. So that would be max engine of 168, or we could start off with 180. How much is that to lease? And how much does this one to lease? Um, oh, as much as I'd love to, I think we'll we'll hold fire for a minute. We'll go get the baler, um, 
and go from there. So let's head over to the store. Um, this might be the faster way actually. So we will brace over to the store. Um, I might have the uh, might have a mod installed for like, car ramps. Um, in which case it might be more beneficial for us to um, to buy a set of those so we can load the baler up um, onto the bale trailer and it's not designed for that um, but that might be a little bit easier as opposed to um, having to do two separate trips but we will have a look when we get there uh, so what I'll do is I will um, drive over to the store um, so we will see you at the store well we have a small challenge, the challenge being that I drove off the road. There we go. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was, which is why I uh, thought I'd keep it in. Um, that could have been a nightmare. Luckily, we managed to save it though, uh, and I need to learn to take the corners a little bit slower. Um, like I say, could have been worse. Anyway, not too far away from the store now, I don't think. Um, believe I just follow this road. Let's have a quick look at the map. Uh, no, we actually need to turn off just down here. Just here. Don't think I'm anywhere near water so we can... Uh... Oh no, we are next to water. It's a good job we didn't crash into that stream. Um, that would have been... Uh... Would have been amusing if I'd have crashed into the same stream twice. Right, so anyway, I will uh, see you when we get to the store. Well, I've just uh, tried. I did have the um, the uh, ramp, the well, car ramps mods, um, I think it's cargo ramps, I think they're called. Uh, I did have it installed, and I'm now hitting cars again. Just drive the bailer over the top of it. Uh, so yeah, I did have it installed, and I was um, messing around for a few minutes trying to get see if I could get the bailer on, but I just uh, just didn't have enough um, just didn't have enough space really. Uh, the ramps were quite a steep angle as well, uh, so unfortunately that method's not going to work. Um, so we will have to make us another trip back to the store. Let's uh, lift this up out of the way so we can actually see where we're going. There we go. Um, so yeah, we will have to make another trip back to the store, um, but it's not. It doesn't take too long to get there. I don't know what happened there. Didn't think I hit anything, but apparently I did. Um, uh, that's what's hitting. I'm hitting the trees. That makes more sense. I forgot that, that would do that. Let's see, hopefully we'll go in there. Go third person and lower that back down a little bit. There we go. Hopefully that will uh, stop us from... Uh, that's better. Stop us from crashing as much. Uh, so yeah, we'll get back to the fields. Um, and get the baler set up. Uh, obviously you get both fields bailed. And deliver the contract. So... Uh, just uh, in game, it's just after about ten. Well, it's about ten past five, so I think we're going to start to lose the light soon. Uh, it'd be nice if we can get um, both fields bailed and delivered before the light runs out. Uh, so we shall do our best. Um, we're just coming up on the fields in a couple of minutes uh, and we managed to get th get past that junction without crashing into the river or stream um, 
so once we're back in the like I say once we're back at the fields we'll get the get them both bailed uh, pop back to the store grab the bail trailer get them loaded I think they're both going to the same place as well so it'd be nice if we could um, get get both fields on one trailer we shall find out um, so I'll crack on with this and I will see you when both fields have been bailed and we are loading the bales up so I will see you in a bit I don't know what's happened here. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a head scratch and work out how I can uh, get my tractor out of a tree. Uh, I will check in with you once we've done that. That was uh, that was eventful. Uh, I did manage to get the tr my tractor out of the tree, but it was uh, was a little bit difficult. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So anyway, now that it's out. Let's uh, check my HUD back on. Um, double check what my uh, bale loader can take. It can take up to 180. Uh, so we will make sure oh, we can only bail up to 150. So we will um, set the the baler the baler uh, baler to 150 centimeter bales. Turn on automatic drop. unfold and power up the baler and we will get started so I will continue with the time lapse and hopefully we won't end up in another tree uh, so I will see you once both fields are bailed and we are about to start loading the bales see you in a bit
nearly got both fields uh, all bailed up and ready to be loaded onto the bale trailer. Um, as I said at the end of the last episode, um, I want to try and keep the episodes fairly short. Uh, and I think this one's starting to um, get a little bit long. So, and as it's getting a bit dark as well, we'll get the field finished with the baler, uh, put the baler away, and we will call that job done for episode two, at the start of episode three. Have we got enough to finish that bale? Yes. Perfect timing. Um, so at the start of episode three, we'll get all these bales loaded up and taken to the cell point, uh, and then I think we will um, have a look at looking after our own fields. Um, we might, if we're in the next uh, day uh, in game, they might our fields might need to be harvested, which will be uh, fun. Um, Although we don't have a silo at the moment, uh, so we might have to just sell them straight away. Uh, I know the uh, price probably isn't going to be the best, but they might not be ready. Um, we will see. Um, we will see when we get to that stage. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, hopefully. We will see you again for episode three. Uh, we just need to get the baler parked up. And we will call it there for this episode. So, thank you again for watching. As I say, I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, so, goodbye for now.